Hello friends, this is Anucletus, PhD Research Scholar of School of Pedagogic and Science, MG University, Kotev. And as a part of PhD coursework, we have dealt with the two video lessons. In those, we have seen introduction to research in broad aspect and types of research too. Today, let's deal with meaning, characteristics, objectives and some specific example from educational point of view about research. So educational research refers to a systematic attempt to gain better understanding of educational practices generally in a view of maintaining and improving its efficiency. It's an application of scientific method to the problems of education. Now let's go on to different definitions of educational research. Different educationists have defined educational research in different ways. Let's deal one by one. According to Good, a famous educationist, educational research is the study and investigation in the field of education. According to Monroy, the final purpose of educational research is to ascertain principles and develop procedures for use in the field of education. And according to Mule, any systematic study designed to promote the development of education as a science can be considered educational research. Crawford says educational research is a systematic and refined technique of thinking using special tools in order to obtain a mere adequate solution of a problem. Now as the next we have to deal with the characteristics of educational research. In an overall view when we are considering the characteristics it's ultimately scientific and it's based on scientific method and it follows a scientific and systematic approach to the field of research. Now, characteristics of educational research can be viewed in two ways. In the first way, we can see the characterization in a general point of view. In the second aspect, we are simply listing out characteristics of educational research. So let's move on to the first aspect. Stage educational research considers empirical as a characteristic feature. Research is based on direct experience or observation by a researcher. And as a second point of view, when the educational research is considered, we can see logical aspect as a characteristic feature. Research is based on valid procedures and principle. When we are moving on to the third stage, it is cyclical. Educational research is a cyclical process because it always starts with a problem and ends with a problem. The fourth characteristic feature and it's based more on scientific aspects, it is analytical. Research utilizes proven analytical procedures in gathering the data, whether historical, descriptive, experimental or case study. And the fifth one indicates replicability of research of education. The research designs and procedures are replicated to enable the researcher to arrive at valid and conclusive results. The sixth and the final major characteristic feature is critical. Research exhibits useful aspects in a critical manner. Now let's see characteristics of educational research in a different point of view. Let's list out educational research characteristic features. First of all, it usually finds a problem in the field of education and it finds out problems and rectify a problem, try to improve the quality of education and it finds out generalizations. Usually generalizations are verified by observations and you, it usually follow designed procedures and the educational research always tries to be objective and logical. Now as you can see in the display there are a lot of another characteristic features too. It usually involves insight and imagination. It's an interdisciplinary approach and usually it do not control events and educational research needs new areas to be explored. It usually in the last two videos, we have considered different types of educational research too. Now, let's see specific examples related to education to each research type. In the first categorization of educational research based on purpose, we have seen descriptive, analytical, predictive and explorative research. Now, let's try framing research titles 
related to each research type. So for explaining research titles and examples for each research type, let's consider social media addiction as a problem. And for a descriptive type of research, we can give the research type a descriptive study on social media addiction among teenagers. And for the analytical type of research, the researcher does an analysis among population and finds a causal relationship. So the study can be framed like this. If we are studying social media addiction of teenagers in Idiki district, let's frame the title like this. Analytical study on lifestyle change of social media addicts of Idiki district. Now moving on to the third type, predictive research. The example for research title under this category can be Predictive analysis on lifestyles of social addicts of Idiki district. And the fourth one under the category of purpose is exploratory research. And for this type of research, we can frame the title like this. The use of social media to enhance listening and speaking skills of teenagers of Idiki district and exploratory study. Now on the basis of process, there are two types of research, qualitative and quantitative. For the qualitative type of research, the title can be framed like this. The reasons for social media addiction. A case study in Idiki district among teenagers. This title can be set as an example for descriptive research too. Because both descriptive research and qualitative research share similar characteristics. Now let's go on to the quantitative type of research. It is a basic fundamental research which usually researchers follow. And it's based on scientific method. It follows statistics and analysis. So the research title can be like this. A survey on reasons for social media addiction among teenagers in Idiki district. Now going on to the last classification of research based on outcome. There are two aspects. Applied research and basic or fundamental or pure research. In applied or action research, we are solving instant issue of a society. So the title can be like this. Study on ways to manage social media addiction among teenagers in Iduki district. And in basic type of research, we are adding on knowledge. So we are providing a bit of information or knowledge to the vast ocean of knowledge. So the example for basic type of research can be like this. Preparation of learning packages for creating awareness on negative impact of social media for teenagers. So as an overall view in this last three video lessons we have dealt with introduction to research. We have seen introduction of research as a whole, evolution of research, etymology, meaning, definitions, characteristics and types of research. So now I am signing off wishing you a happy and amazing research experience.